All right, season two is here and we have our new resurgence map. We got all the changes in Warzone 2. We've seen some buffs, we've seen some nerfs, we've seen some a little bit of change to the meta. I think it's time for us to go through the top five loadouts you're gonna wanna use on a Sheikah Island or Aska Island, depending on who you're talking to and how you pronounce Sea Lion. But let's jump right in and see what we're gonna use on this new map, starting with number five. Let's check it out. All right, before we jump in, we gotta go over the perk packages. And these packages apply to every loadout in the game because perks changed in season two. We have customizable perks. And it's not like customizable perks you talked about with Verdance and Caldera. They are extremely overpowered with certain combinations. I'm gonna walk you through those combinations. These combinations apply for every loadout. So you wanna set these first when you're making your loadout. First one's overkill, two guns. I know before you didn't need it because you buy a gun, it's 2,500, two guns. Second one, bomb squad. Take reduced damage from non-kill streak explosives and reset fuse timers when picking up live grenades. So when they're throwing grenades at you and stuff, you're gonna take reduced damage, that's what you're gonna do. Fast hands, yep, that's like amped in Caldera. You can switch guns really quick. You're gonna wanna do that going from an LMG to an SMG, sniper SMG, just like that. And ghost, that's right, I said ghost. You can run overkill and ghost on the same perk package it that's insane let that sink in for you that should be all your packages right there you can switch out fast hands for resupply or restock if you want i'm more into fast hands i like switching weapons really quick i like the amp feeling but those are your perk packages you want to set first so that's the foundation before you hop into loadouts so let's back up and take a look at the tac 56. Tac 56 is my number five loadout on this list. We're gonna hop right in. We're gonna run you through it. Real simple. We've got 60 round mag, high velocity rounds, F Tac Ripper 56, 17 and a half Tundra barrel, the SZ Holo Therm. If you haven't used this thing, you're missing out. This thing is beautiful, super easy to see and use, especially in. in uh, in Almazra and on the new Ashika Island. This is the one you wanna do. We'll check out the tuning real quick for you. Obviously no tuning on the mag, high velocity, here's your damage range, and there's your bullet velocity marks. And we're gonna go over to the FTAC Ripper. There's your recoil stabilization. There's your aiming idle stability. And then you're gonna go up to the barrel. As you can see, got the damage range there and the recoil steadiness there. That's your loadout for your TAC 56. Now. Lockman sub. I also run smoke grenades and Simtex on everything. You can switch out your Simtex to a drill charge. It's up to you. It's all personal flavor. Depends on what I'm feeling, but the Simtex is what I go with. Let's hop into the Lockman sub. There's your build. We're gonna walk you through it real quick. You got the LM stockless mod. This is built for speed. This is not for long range. This isn't for anything like that. It's not sniper support. It's built for speed, in and out, cuts quick. That's what this gun is built for. So 50 round drum, Lockman TCG 10 for the rear grip, LM stockless mod, one milliwatt quick fire laser, Lockman pulsar barrel. Now let me walk you through the tuning. Real simple and easy. There's your tuning. No tuning on the stock. Here's your tuning on the rear grip. Recoil steadiness, aiming and idle stability. And then you can tune lasers now. That is new. They just added that in for season two. So you're going to want to, and you want to tune that up for aim, walking steadiness, and aiming idle stability. That's number five. All right, let's go to number four. M13. I know there are a lot of fans for the M13 coming over from Caldera and Verdance. Well, it got a buff in season two. It is in the meta. And I know you M13s fans out there are super excited. So let me walk you through the build on it. We're gonna go um, 60 round drum, commando foregrip, 14 inch Bruin barrel, SZ hollow therm, and the Bruin R90 factory stock. So let me do the tuning on the stock. There you go. Pause for you so you can take a screenshot. Commando foregrip, you should be used to that coming from uh, Caldera and Verdansk. So we got three coil stabilization, aiming idle stability. And let's take a look at the barrel. Jack them up, recoil steadiness, and damage range. And then SZ Hollow's term. I run this on every AR in the game. This, the, the sight picture is 
phenomenal. Let me show you in the fire range on this site picture real quick. Look at that. You're going to see that in game through smoke, through anything. You lock on. Look at that. Done. Look at that. Done. I love this site. This is the site you should be using. Beautiful site. Let me back out. That's your build. All right, Vel46 or MP7. That's my other one. I really love it. Let's take a look here. Similar than before, 50 round mag, Commando 4 grip, LM Series 7, 1 milliwatt quick fire laser, and the Vel A568 collapse. This is for speed. This isn't for long range. You aren't going to have high bullet velocity. You're not going to have high damage range. It is a true SMG. You want the speed for it. So let me go through the tuning so you can take a look. I go all the way up on the stabilization and all the way over on the idle stability. And then you're going to go on the LM Series 7. We're going to jack those two up. And then uh, let's see, on the laser, like we did earlier, we got sprint to fire and aim down sight. Those are your attachments. All right, let's go number three. Cast off 762. Love this gun. Kind of AK 47, pretty much, is what it is before. One thing I would change on this gun the mag size. Let's take a look. I'll show you. It's only got a 40 round mag that can put you in sticky spots. If you're not hitting your shots, you're going to want to be hitting your shots, but you can't do anything about that. It's only got a 20 or a 40. You got to go with the 40 F tech Ripper 56 ZLR Talon five cast 10 barrel SC hollow therm. Like I said before, here's your tuning on that. Let me pause that for a second so you get the tuning. Let me go over to the FTAC Ripper. Get your tuning on the Ripper. And then the ZLR Talon 5. Get you right here. Got your tuning on that one. All right, we're moving along. We got number two, baby. The TAC V. Now, this gun has a little more kick and a little more recoil on controller. Um, better mouse and key, but I'm a controller. Here's the thing on this one. This is for highly accurate players. I'm not going to say professional players highly accurate players because the damage per mag and the damage per bullet is insane. You'll kill quickly, but you got to be able to control it. Let me walk you through the loadout for it and the build, and you can try it for yourself. So we got the FSS combat grip. We've got the brute stock SC hollow therm, 50 round mag and the lock shot KT 85. Let me walk you through the tuning. So you got your kick control there and your recoil stabilization, 50 round drum like we talked about. Tuning on the combat grip, aiming on stability is important. Recoil steadiness is important. And then we're going to go up to the brute stock. Got that jacked up all the way for aiming, walking steadiness and aiming idle stability. SC hollow therm, like I showed you before. Let me show you the recoil on this thing. I'm on controller. Let me show you. Not horrible. Reposition. See right there? That gets long range. That long range can, if you can't control it, can be a doozy so to get some practice in on it but i'm telling you it's the way to go this tag b and last but not least our number one build and i know a lot of people are going to be upset about it but it didn't change much so why if it ain't broken don't change it the r p k here is the build we go with the high velocity rounds we got those tuned so you can take a look at that we got the f tag ripper 56 there's your build for that. We got the Zulu 60 muzzle, and here's the build for that one. You can do lasers now. I haven't done the laser, but I think walking steadiness and aim down sight. We're gonna do that. And then the SZ hollow therm. Beautiful build. I know we wanted a bigger meta shift here. It did shift a little bit, but that's still king. RPK is still king. And then I have changed up this, uh, this Finnick. I know you're thinking, oh, Finnick, 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 Finnick. I'm tired of the Finnick. I get it, but this is the new build for it. This is built for movement and hip fire. It spits fast. I'm going to go through it real quick. FTAC. I got the FTAC cap. We got the uh, Finnick rubber grip. And we got to tune that for aiming aisle stability and recoil steadiness. 45 mag. You have to run the 45 mag. And then you have the Syngard MKZ. So we got that jacked all the way up for recoil smoothness and then aiming idle stability. So that is the best build you can run right now. If you're looking for meta build, that is your number one 
meta build is the RPK and Finnick. Hasn't shifted a whole lot. A little bit on the Finnick where you're gonna to wanna to change some of those attachments. So that is your top five builds. You're gonna to wanna to use those in Resurgence. You can use them in uh, Almazar as well. Hey guys, I appreciate you stopping by. We got you the loadouts. We got more stuff coming with season two, more content like always. Smash that like button. Turn notifications on. I'm live every Monday on YouTube and on TikTok. And then go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Also, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're using in season two and what do you think? All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.